Good morning. On this Thursday morning, the 9th of April in 2020, it's Maundy Thursday morning. And I invite you to join me in our morning prayers on page 407 of our prayer book. Our psalm is Psalm 55 on page 277. And we will read from John chapter 17. Let us pray. This is the message we have heard from Christ, that God is light, in whom there is no darkness at all. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and for ever. Amen. Our opening canticle is a song of God's herald. Go up to a high mountain, herald of good tidings to Zion. Lift up your voice with strength, herald of good tidings to Jerusalem. Lift up your voice, fear not. Say to the cities of Judah, Behold your God. See the Lord God coming with power, coming to rule with his mighty arm. He brings his reward for the people of God, the recompense for those who are saved. God will feed his flock like a shepherd and gather the lambs in his arms. He will hold them to his breast and gently lead those that are with young. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Our psalm is Psalm 55 on page 277. Hear my prayer, O God, and do not hide yourself from my petition. Give heed to me and answer me. I am restless in my complaining. I am in turmoil at the voice of the enemy, at the onslaught of the wicked, for they bring down disaster upon me. They persecute me with bitter fury. My heart writhes within me, and the terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fear and trembling come upon me, and horror overwhelms me. And I said, O oh, for the wings of a dove, that I might fly away and find rest. Then I would flee far off and make my lodging in the wilderness. I would hasten to find me a refuge out of the blast of slander. Out of the tempest of their calamity, O Lord, and far from their double tongues. For I have seen violence and strife in the city, day and night as they go round it upon its walls. Evil and wickedness are within it, iniquity is within it, oppression and fraud do not depart from its streets. It was not an enemy that reviled me, or I might have borne it, it was not my foes that dealt so insolently with me, or I might have hidden myself from them. But it was you, a person like myself, my companion and my familiar friend. Together we enjoyed sweet fellowship in the house of our God. Let them pass away in confusion, let death carry them to destruction, let them go down to Sheol for evil is among them in their dwellings. But I will call to God, and the Lord my God will save me. At evening, at morning, and at noonday, I complain and groan aloud. And he will hear my voice and ransom my soul in peace. From those that bear down upon me, for there are many against me. God will hear and bring them low, he that is enthroned for ever. 
for they do not keep their word, and they have no fear of God. They lay violent hands on those that are at peace with them. They break solemn covenants. Their mouths are smooth as butter, but war is in their hearts. Their words are softer than oil, yet they are drawn swords. Cast your burden on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never suffer the righteous to stumble. But as for them, you will bring them down, O God, even to the depths of the pit. The bloodthirsty and deceitful shall not live out half their days, but I will trust in you. Almighty God, who wonderfully created us in your own image, and yet more wonderfully restored us in your Son, Jesus Christ, grant that as he came to share our human nature, so we may be partakers of his divine glory, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Our reading comes from John 17. After Jesus had spoken these words, he looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, so that the Son may glorify you, since you have given him authority over all people to give eternal life to all whom you have given him. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I glorified you on earth by finishing the work that you gave me to do. So now, Father, glorify me in your own presence, with the glory that I had in your presence before the world existed. I have made your name known to those whom you gave me from the world. They were yours, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you have given me is from you. For the words that you have given to me, I have given to them. And they have received them, and know in truth that I came from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I am asking on their behalf. I am not asking on behalf of the world, but on behalf of those whom you gave me, because they are yours. All mine are yours and all yours are mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one as we are one. While I was with them, I protected them in your name that you have given me. I guarded them, and not one of them was lost, except the one destined to be lost, so that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you, and I speak these things in the world, so that they may have my joy made complete in themselves. I have given them your word, and your word has hated them because they do not belong to the world, just as I do not belong to the world. I am not asking you to take them out of the world, but I ask you to protect them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world, just as I do not belong to the world. Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you have sent me into the world, so have I sent them into the world. And for their sakes I sanctify myself, so that they may also be sanctified in truth. I ask not only on behalf of these, 
but also on behalf of those who will believe in me through their word, that they may all be one, as you, Father, are in me, and I am in you, may they also be in us, so that the word may be so that the world may believe that you have sent me. The glory that you have given me, I have given them, so that they may be one, as we are one, I in them and you in me, that they may become completely one, so that the world may know that you have sent me and have loved them, even as you have loved me. Father, I desire that those also whom you have given me may be with me where I am, to see my glory which you have given me because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, the world does not know you, but I know you, and these know you that have sent me. I made your name known to them, and I will make it known so that the love with which you have loved me may be in them and I in them. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Our canticle, the hymn of the word. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. He was in the world, and the world was made through him yet the world knew him not. He came to his own home, and his own people received him not. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he has given power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. We have beheld his glory, glory as the only Son from the Father, and from his fullness we have received grace upon grace. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. Our Collect for Holy Week Almighty and everlasting God, your tender love towards us sent your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh and to suffer death upon the cross, that all should follow the example of his great humility. Mercifully grant that we may both follow the example of his patience and also be made partakers of his resurrection. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Remembering that God has always been active in seeking the salvation of his people, let us bring to him now our prayers for the world, for the church, and for ourselves. Merciful God, we thank you for the fellowship we share with your people throughout the world. As we remember the last meal Jesus ate with his disciples, 
and his extreme act of humility to wash the disciples' feet. Even as we prepare to do fellowship in isolation, may we, your people, the church, follow his example of love and service so that his message of salvation might reach those around us. Lord, graciously hear us. Merciful God, we pray for those facing financial ruin or extreme hardship as a result of the health crisis. May our leaders in government and the public services develop sustainable measures to protect all your people. And we give thanks for the work of welfare agencies working so very hard to bring people relief. May we not yield to fear or self-interest, but choose to put ourselves at the service of others in the spirit of neighbourly love. We pray that arrogance and cruelty may give way to humility and kindness that seeks to serve and nurture the weak and the vulnerable. Lord, graciously hear us. Merciful God, we pray for our families and friends and the communities in which we live and work. We pray for our Diocese of Newcastle, for Peter, our Bishop, and for Sonia and Charlie, the Assistant Bishops. We pray for the clergy and people of the parishes of Gloucester, Gresford Patterson, Maitland, Merriwa and Wollombi Valley. And in our diocesan cycle of prayer, we hold up to you the staff of the Newcastle Anglican Schools Corporation, our team in the Professional Standards Office, and the staff of the Anglican Savings and Development Fund. Help us always to look outwards and to care for those who are on the fringes of our society and excluded from our communities. Lord, graciously hear us. Merciful God, we pray for all who are suffering today and carrying the burdens of sickness, grief, anxiety and guilt. We pray that you will guide them towards freedom, wholeness and faith in your love and mercy. We especially pray for those suffering directly from the spread of COVID-19, those who have lost loved ones, those who are fighting for their lives, the frail, the vulnerable and the aged. We pray for our emergency and essential services personnel, holding up to you our health professionals, particularly doctors and nurses diagnosing and treating the COVID-19 virus, and those who are tirelessly researching and developing treatments and cures. May they draw strength from the support of our communities. Lord, graciously hear us. Merciful God, you have always been active in seeking the salvation of your people. Hear our prayers today, especially during this time of isolation to contain and hopefully to eliminate the spread of COVID-19. We pray to you, Lord, to transform your world, the church, and all people for whom we pray. In the name of your Son, our Saviour, Redeemer and Sanctifier, Jesus Christ. Amen. We say our evening morning collect, Lord and Heavenly Father, you have brought, brought us safely to this new day. Keep us by your mighty power, protect us from sin, guard us from every kind of danger, and in all we do this day, direct us in the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with us all. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of peace equip us with everything good so that we may do his will and may he work in us that which is pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory for ever. Amen.
as we approach the cross of Calvary, recalling the sacrifice made once and for all on the cross by Jesus our Saviour. May we all experience God's mercy and love, especially on this Passion Tide of 2020. The Lord be with you.